This will be an overview of the Trimetrics Hercon software for the RA660. The, uh, this is the main page, and one of the nice features of the RA660 is that you can have this background uh, room noise monitor that could pause the tests if, um, if it goes above these settings that we've got set in here. So let's go, actually I'll show you where that is, The uh, where you can, if I go to the room monitor, you can set those different values. If I turn this on, then during a test it would pause the test, but because we're just kind of giving an overview, I'll turn it off for now. But you could set those to what uh, whatever parameters you want to use. So if it goes above these limits, and again, it pauses the test. Um, also under the settings, you can get into the daily biological, uh, built into the RE660 is a uh, biological, a bioacoustic simulator um, to test the headphones. So you can require um, a daily listening check or a daily biological. Um, so if we get into, let's actually go back to this other screen here. If I go over to this side and some of the other controls, um, this is my, if I have someone in the booth, I can hit this, this is actually, uh, to, uh, because there's a talk over mic, so if I hit this, I can speak to them into the microphone um, and they can hear me through the headphones. We we're talking about the daily checks. This is for the daily check, so I can start my daily biological. So now it's sending these tones to the headphones and listening to hear if it's uh, picking them up. Um, so I won't, I won't let it go through the whole thing, but you can do this and it records it. The other one here is the uh, daily listening check I want to show you. And someone, uh, basically you, it's, it's more of a test to find out if the wires are staticky or if there's issues with the headphones and stuff like that. So it's kind of a secondary test. I won't go through it right now again, but uh, it's a nice feature that that's actually built in. So if we want to add people that are gonna be tested, we can go to demographics and we can add people or we can find people that are in the database already. If I click add, then I would enter in their identification number, birth date, all that information and hit save and they'd be added to the database. Uh, I can also do find. So say if I have already added a few people, so if I want, if I start typing their name, it gives me some options, I can select them from there and then uh, select them and their information will be loaded. So now we've got Dana loaded in here. Now I've got some information from the past on him, or if I have some past uh, information I want to add, I can click here and actually manually type in different results from the past. And I could mark this, uh, I could keep going and mark it as an annual baseline or a retest um, or normal. So. I won't do that right now, I won't add it in, but I, all I would do is add that in and I would hit save here to add it to the list. So let's go and actually I'll show you it, how a test is performed. Actually, so if I want to switch to someone else, which I'll set it to me. and I'll set it for an annual. Okay, if I hit new test, and I've got, again, I have this feature turned off, but because every time I'm talking, I'm putting it over the limits and would constantly be pausing the test. It's paused now anyway, just because I haven't started it, but this will turn from orange. Uh, it'll, it'll basically go away once I start the test. So now um, it's turned green, so the test is running. It's actually reading the instructions. Uh, to me through the headphones and it'll start to present tones automatically. So if I start responding, and it'll also give me instructions if I'm hitting uh, the button too many times or too quickly, it'll actually come on and tell me that I'm not doing it correctly. So it'll automatically go through and it'll generate all the, the values here uh, for the right and left ear. So I'll just pause that because it'll take a while to go through. So um, once the uh, test is done, uh, you can hit save and it gets saved. Where this isn't complete, I won't save this. But there is also reports. 
So if I go to, let's see here, this is actually, this is it's set to Dana right now. So these are some of the past tests. If I go into me, show some of the ones I have in here as well. There's also uh, notification letters here or reports that can be generated. So this is a standard threshold shift, possible recordable shift on some of the test data that I put in. Uh, STS changes, you can see that because of the data, um, it records when it happened and, and uh, who had those shifts. So that's kind of a, a quick overview of the software. And um, again, some of these are some of the results from the past and you can see it graphically here as well.